prodded and prodded and prodded since 2014 when there was the overthrowing of a democratically elected government in Ukraine and replaced with a puppet who was Zelensky. And that puppet went on an offensive and neo-Nazi gangs went on an offensive attacking the minority, which was the Russians. Um, and they were 60 of them set on fire in one day. No one ever faced prosecution. Yeah? There was lots of crimes, the banning of speaking Russian in all the schools. Um, and right now, racism against Russians is encouraged. It's insane. Yeah? It's insane. I'd look at what you've done to Roman Abramovich and Chelsea Football Club. I just think, so what? Because he owned a company that sold some steel to make weapons for Russia. You've now took everything off him, yeah? But you deal with Saudi Arabia, who have been bombing kids in Yemen for the last 10 years. They've been blowing up schools every week. Or uh, they're, they're murdering, yeah? You fund all the missiles there. Yeah? You give them all the weapons. So the hypocrisy in it, and the agenda of it, and the breakdown of it. So there were certain areas of, that felt like they were liberated when the Russians come in. Yeah? Don't get me wrong, I think what's happening to innocent Ukrainians in the middle of this plan, and since 2014 they've done this, and it's all orchestrated, and I believe it's gone against all the agreements they previously had with Russia, and I believe that expansionist ideas is, is the European Union, it's our government's disgusting foreign policies, um, and right now there's lots of innocent Ukrainians in the middle of that. That doesn't mean Putin's a nice guy, doesn't mean their agenda isn't disgusting as well, but it's been instigated because they, Ukraine used to borrow off of Putin. They used to get all their resources off of Putin. They used to deal with Putin. There's a lot of rich resources in that country of Ukraine, and the globalist agenda wants it. They want rid of Putin as well. Yeah? Just like they got rid of Saddam Hussein, just like they got rid of Gaddafi, just like they tried to get rid of Assad. Why couldn't you get rid of Assad? Probably because of his connections as well with Russia. Yeah? But you wanted rid of Assad. What are you replacing him with? Look what you've done, to, look what you've done with Libya. It's disgusting, man. And that is foreign policy. Now, that is the British... Disgu As I've come to grow, I've just come to be disgusted with much of our history, of what our governments have done, what the elitist globalist agenda is. Um, they talk about democracy. They keep talking about protecting democracy in, in Ukraine. Just research it. Research what's going on in Ukraine and research who's behind it. George Soros again. Billionaires, the people who are sitting in the WEF meetings now, planning our next future of our lives, where they're going to globalise and digitalise all of us as slaves, basically. So I just, and I think, and I think, do you know what? When I look at that, my views have shifted a lot. My views of being against Islam and th this is the biggest threat. Uh, I believe we're, we're all being used. They've played us against each other, even down to the immigration they're bringing in. They want us all.